get one, but it doesn't feel like it this morning, right? No big surprise that in the wake of that most recent storm, it's a chilly start. It's 28 degrees currently in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake, it's 40. A lot of these runnings are running about 5 to 10 degrees lower than they were yesterday at this time. That's got you a little bit below freezing in Cedar City, while in St. George, it's currently 52. Fair skies over much of the central and southern part of the state. Some clouds linger in the north, but the showers, at least for the time being, have tapered off. And what's left of the storm is weakening as it does so next couple days will keep warming up, but we're not going to get rid of it entirely. It's going to be kind of cut off and then uh, meander over uh, the Great Basin just to the southwest of us and moisture wrapped around that as well as uh, the airflow associated with that will bring some wind and uh, a few showers at times. Now today we'll make it up to 53 in Salt Lake City, which still has this well below average for this time of year. In general, it will be partly cloudy in the north. We'll have a slight chance of some rain showers, mainly this morning in the valleys. They could pop up in the afternoon through the mountains and into southwest Wyoming, but few and far between. In the south, it becomes mostly sunny. St. George, you'll be climbing up to 71. The, one of the problems in the wake of the storm, though, is the fact that uh, there still could be some gusty winds through some of the canyons of Washington County with a wind advisory in effect there until 8 a.m. Some of those winds might be gusting near 50 miles per hour. Another issue could be downslope winds along the northern Wasatch Front, something that happens occasionally. That's possible tonight into tomorrow morning and then again Thursday night into Friday morning. That's when the stronger winds are possible, potentially out of the east at around 45 miles per hour, but they might make it up near 60 miles per hour. So that could be a little bit of a challenge uh, for some of you next couple mornings. St. George, it'll be partly cloudy tomorrow. You climb into the mid 70s, warm up into the 80s this weekend and all the way up into the low 90s by early next week. And in Salt Lake City, Mother's Day weekend is looking good. It'll be feeling a lot better as we gradually warm up. But with that leftover storm lingering, there still could be some spotty uh, occasional showers and thunderstorms popping up Friday into Saturday, most likely over the higher terrain, but potentially in the valleys. Even so, it'll be sunny in the mid 70s by Mother's Day on Sunday and then by early next week, climbing into the upper 70s.